Uh, we could not believe that she was only 42 because she looked so old-fashioned. She was wearing one of those polyester dresses. That was her good clothes, and she had a handbag. This is one of the poignant things. She had a handbag, and when she opened it, there was nothing inside. It was just a handbag that was empty, just for decoration. Because when you're going to something fancy, you should have a handbag. She looked like a pensioner. She had the face of hard work, that face that you see in so many women that have just had to work too hard and have never had anyone to take care of them. She was just lovely, and she was asking extremely innocent questions. It was the first time she ever had coffee. And it was very exciting for her to have coffee, and she hadn't seen brown sugar before. Obviously, in the Gresham, there was brown and white sugar cubes on the table, and it was all very fancy to her. And she was just overjoyed to be there, and absolutely wowed, wowed by everything. This is Theresa's impression of Anne, her natural mother, at their reunion. Incarceration in a Magdalen laundry deprived Anne of her daughter, Theresa of her mother, and the young Irish woman of her liberty, her freedom and the endless possibilities of life and love. I believe that woman. I believe the women. Anne's testimony didn't find its way into the McAleese report. I am personally, as can call a challenge, to take a leap of faith to accept uh, that the full extent of the awfulness and human tragedy and suffering experienced in these religious and state-supported pain factories are covered in this report, welcome as it is. The state, and I agree with my colleagues, must sincerely and fully apologise. So too should those orders and the church hierarchy who presided over those shameful operations. Services must be provided, efficacious and appropriate recompense and uh, appropriate redress processes must be agreed with the survivors. Uh, the women were sold out by the state and the church which professed to love them and respect their God-given dignity. They must not be sold, sold short now. Uh, I know you know that, Minister. Uh, I know that this government knows this. Uh, and I would urge uh, those in positions of responsibility to take very swift action uh, to address this issue and to close this uh, sorry, uh, sad and heartbreaking chapter of recent Irish history.